anybody is ever wondering why it might take me a little longer to do things uh, with this bike and on this channel, it's because my OCD attention to detail here. So with this engine, I've disassembled it. Yesterday I spent a lot of time uh, miking the rods and crank and checking connecting rod bearing clearances and main bearing clearances and whatnot. You know, we're disassembling the heads. I got the ultrasonic cleaner heating up so we can continue to clean these and do the valves and it's just it's just a long process. So what I'm working on today in between everything is uh <laughs> Scotch Bright toothbrush picks and, and whatnot and then some foam cleaner just getting all of the old grease and grime off of uh off of some parts before I paint them. So instead of stripping all the paint off because it's in relatively good shape but it's not good enough to be like a like show worthy um, instead of stripping it all off I'm going to repaint over the over the current black just to give it a nice even texture and then I'm going to try a different clear coat um, that will hopefully just last longer but it'll continue to be like satin black because uh, if you get up close here like I've cleaned the block a little bit but it's still going to take a lot of work and if I was just to, to throw this thing back together, it would just, I don't know, it wouldn't look very good. So I have to put a lot of time in, especially with these CX blocks, like how much webbing and, and different different uh, areas are in here. Like it'll just take a while to get it all cleaned up. So that's what I'm doing. And then um, I should get to the hone on that either today or tomorrow or something like that. Uh, I'm not going to make like a big video on it. You guys can check out my GS450 video on the hone if you if you wish. And then, yeah, so this is just going to be a lot of cleaning, painting, detailing um, before reassembly. So hopefully we'll get the uh, long block back together before too long and I can get it hung back up in the bike. And then from there we'll uh, start wiring and, and start like the real, real final assembly stuff. So it'd be pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, boring stuff here. So I've already spent hours on this case uh, among you know the other covers of this engine cleaning it and what I typically use and what I've used in this instance as well um, dunk foamy cleaner I like to, to put that on there and then I can saturate it and hit it with scotch bright or you know some sandpaper and then a, a mixture of nylon brushes and then uh, I, I re retired my old toothbrush so just getting in all of these crevices and, and just scrubbing it until there's nothing left. So after this, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to make sure I rough it up and then get kind of all the loose stuff back off, make sure I didn't miss anything. And then we'll take this and I'll put it in the solvent tank and get every orifice cleaned out. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, ball hone this thing and then we'll uh, clean it again <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and get it painted so that's the goal and then also while you're at this point this is the time to go ahead and chase every thread in the block you don't want to have a problem whenever you're going back together and break a bolt or something like that or not be able to get to the correct torque so make sure all of your threads are perfectly clean so this thing um, being that it sat for a long time and it's you know from 1983 just has some general corrosion so all of the uh, front cover threads are, are really good so I didn't have to worry about those I can see clean and through them they're, they're they're clean but for the uh, camshaft holder here and then the cylinder head jackets just definitely had to clean those up 
and then <clears throat> the back of the block. So around my water pump here, this one was a little grungy, this uh, eight millimeter. And then the two holes, there's like four holes, I think, there's this one, yeah, this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, so there's three that go all the way through. So that means that they're exposed from the back side. So this one I still have to, to chase, but it had like some corrosion and dirt and grime in it. And then from there, the back of the block will be good. But that's just a good precaution to take. Want to know how to ruin your day real quick? Another reason, just be very careful. Chasing threads, okay, you can get carried away and assume everything is an M8125 or an M M61, you know. These two top head bolts, okay. You try to feed your M8125 tap in, it's going, it's going, it's going, and all of a sudden it kind of feels a little tight. You're like, hmm, don't force it. That doesn't mean there's crud in there. That means it's a one mil pitch. So just be real careful, okay? Take your time, look things over. So if it starts getting tight and doesn't feel natural, don't just force it through because that would have sucked. But anyway, yeah, I didn't know that those were... Uh, one mil pitch until I until I just went to run the tap in and just you know got right where it caught a couple threads and then it was like it got tight again and it's like hmm that doesn't add up so anyway double check don't make mistakes Looks okay to me. Do the other side, compare. Go from okay. there. Hey. really good I clean up and then go clean up which is the actual hard part We're looking for no residue to end up on this rag. 
then that means we're cleaning up. This is just for the ride back to the shop. Alright, now the 50 steps to the shop, air dry it again.